Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that has been requested so many times over on my Instagram that I'm almost scared to film it, if you see what I mean, like the pressure is so high, but I've set it all up. We're going to film it today. I've never really filmed like this in my kitchen before, so I hope it goes well. I hope the sound is okay. I've no idea. Let's just keep fingers crossed and let's start the video. But before I do, in case you're new here, I'm Amberina. I have a blog. We talk about beauty, style, hair, health, fitness, all those kind of things. So if you're interested in any of that, then please do consider heading down to the subscribe button and clicking to subscribe so you can stay tuned for more videos. So with that said, let's get into the video. Oh, and we have just been joined by Hermes. Could you get down please? Oh. <laughs> Give me one second, I just need to move him because he thinks this is great fun. Can we move? You might as well just meet him very quickly. He's our little kitten. Well, he's not so little now, he's about 10 months old now. But I think he's kind of fully grown and he's still tiny, which I know. He will probably jump up again, so... Where's he gone? Yeah, he'll probably be back again. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So I have been having Bulletproof Coffee for about a year. Bulletproof Coffee has been a thing for a few years now, but my Bulletproof Coffee is not like the OG. It's not the plain, simple Bulletproof Coffee, and I was inspired by KGMTL, who is a blogger I follow in Montreal. So my Bulletproof Coffee, a bit like hers, has been adulterated a little bit and I use mine to break my intermittent fast. So if we just take a step backwards, I do intermittent fasting, I do the 16-8 and I've been doing that, well my lifestyle kind of veers towards that anyway because by the time I get up in the morning, get the kids to school, go to the gym, come back, shower, change. It's normally about 14 to 15 hours anyway before I eat my breakfast. I don't eat breakfast before going to the gym. I do a fasted workout. So last April, so it's a year ago now, I had some blood tests and various health issues were thrown up, one of them including adrenal fatigue, insulin resistance, a whole host of things. But those were a couple of the things. Oh, and a liver enzyme function as well. Quite a few things which I haven't really spoken to you about, but I need to at some point. And intermittent fasting was one of the things that was suggested to me as a way to rebalance my body and address things like adrenal fatigue and the insulin resistance. So I started doing the intermittent fasting kind of formally at that point and made it a point to keep those 16 hours between my last meal of the night and my first meal of the morning the next day. And it's made such a difference to me and then part of my routine has also been because I needed certain adaptogens and things like that, so I thought I'd incorporate them into a meal, and hence my Bulletproof Coffee obsession. I now swear by my Bulletproof Coffee. On the days that I don't have it, I actually miss it, I crave it. My husband thinks I'm crazy, but I really crave it. I've just been away for two weeks and I really missed my Bulletproof Coffee. I was so excited to get home and have my first Bulletproof Coffee of the fortnight. To me, it's about as close as I can get to the Limitless Pill. If you've seen that Bradley Cooper movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. This, I feel it gives me focus and energy and I don't have cravings at the end of the day. If I've not had my Bulletproof Coffee in the morning, I definitely feel that I have cravings or I'm feeling peckish after dinner. But if I've had my Bulletproof coffee in the morning, I feel it sets me up for the day. I'm not quite sure how much of that is placebo effect, but I don't really care. It works for me. So I'm going to show you today how I make my Bulletproof coffee. And I'm also going to show you how I make it with matcha and with cacao. Because sometimes I don't really want that much of a caffeine hit. And also just for the variety as well. So with that said, let's get started. So first of all, let's start with the Bulletproof Coffee version. I used to just use regular coffee and boil the kettle and whiz it up in my Nutribullet. But I did have a couple of times where it exploded on me and that's not pleasant. You know, boiling water is just not pleasant. So then I started using 
my Vitamix to make my bulletproof coffee, but just the washing up for a coffee that's this, I mean, it was just, I was getting a little bit annoyed with that. So I decided to invest in a Nespresso machine, which I've been wanting for ages. And then long story short, on Boxing Day, four months ago, Amazon did a brilliant sale and I managed to get, I think, 120 pounds off a very, very nice Nespresso machine. So I have the Latissima Touch Nespresso machine and I now use that to make my coffee and it gives the coffee at just exactly the right temperature so that it can go into the Nutribullet and not explode on me. So, first of all, I'll make my coffee and I will use one pod and run the water through it twice or if I'm feeling I need that caffeine hit, I'll actually use two pods so it just depends on the day obviously there's a stronger coffee flavor if you use two pods but that's totally up to you i've experimented a little bit with all the different coffees from nespresso and i've still got a long way to go in terms of deciding which one i like best oops i started with uh ristretto which is i think a very strong one and then we moved to arpeggio now i'm really loving this one which i think is called caramelito which is a lovely what the name gives you the impression of what it is. It's just a really soft coffee, so I really love this. Especially if I'm going to add in a little bit of cacao powder, which I will come to in a second. So, I have my coffee. I've run it through twice. I find that if I run it through twice, it's just the right amount of water and the, just the right amount of coffee for me. So, oh my God, it smells amazing as well. Like I just want to drink it like this. But now we add in the magic. First and foremost, the original Bulletproof Coffee is with grass-fed organic butter. But I'm kind of dairy-free, as in like I really am dairy-free. So I'm using organic grass-fed ghee because the dairy elements of it if I'm going to simplify it, basically, the dairy elements of it are taken out from ghee. I did start using the regular ghee that we use in Indian cooking. Didn't like it at all. But this tastes like a little bit of heaven. When you smell it, it actually smells like dessert, especially if you're used to Indian desserts. So I put in about a teaspoon of ghee into my coffee. And then about a tablespoon of MCT oil. It's called Brain Octane Oil. It's basically a medium chain triglyceride oil, very similar to coconut oil, but it doesn't have the flavor and taste of coconut oil. So it's adding no flavor at all. So about a tablespoon, I'm just going to eyeball it really, because I'm so used to doing it. I know exactly how much I put in every time. So that is basically what you would put in if you were making the original Bulletproof coffee and you just whiz that up. But as I said, I add a little bit extra to that just because this is my first meal of the day. This is actually kind of like my breakfast. So first of all, I will add some collagen. This is the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. Oh, I should just say, everything I use for my Bulletproof coffee, I will have linked on my Amazon shop page. I'm so excited I've been able to do that now. So I now have an Amazon shop page. I have a UK based one and I have a US based one. So I will put the links for you in the description box below. Make sure to click that open and everything I use will be linked there for you. So I add in two scoops of the collagen protein powder. And that gives me a real protein hit, but also the collagen elements of it, which are great for my skin. Then I also add in a dash of cinnamon. Now I do it A, because I love the flavor of cinnamon, but also because it really helps your metabolic rate and it helps stabilize blood sugar spikes and things like that, which is key for me with my health issues. So I just, again, I eyeball that more or less, depending on how I'm feeling every day. I then also add in half a teaspoon of ashwagandha powder. Now this is the adaptogen that I was told that I should take, just basically because my body was under a lot of stress. And the adaptogen, as the name suggests, it adapts to what your body needs. It's a root herb, basically. And you know, sometimes I'll use maca, I've run out of maca, but maca, reishi, um, ashwagandha, they all do similar things 
you can read about them and see which one might be best suited to you, but I kind of tend to switch them up a little bit. And that's basically it. That is what I put into my Bulletproof coffee. So I'm just going to whiz that up. Just check it is switched on. Put it into my Nutribullet. smell this right now it smells I mean it literally just smells like a coffee dessert it's so gorgeous and then as you guys will have seen every day on my Instagram again I was inspired for these by KGMTL these heart-shaped double wall mugs I absolutely love these so let's just pour that in And you'll see that that basically is the exact amount that I need for my bulletproof coffee in my mug. So, I actually haven't had mine yet today. This energy is not from having had coffee because I've not had coffee yet, so I'm gonna start sipping away. Mm, I just love that, I absolutely love it. Now, if you want, and if you're not on any sort of ketosis diet or anything like that, or you're not trying to control your sugars, you could add in a little bit of honey or agave syrup or something like that if you don't like the bitterness of the coffee, which, let's face it, it can be a little bit bitter. But I don't mind it. I actually like it. And the ghee that I use, I really, really, really recommend this ghee. This ghee that I use gives such a lovely, delicious flavour that I don't need any sweetness added to it. Now, if you do follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, please do, I'm gonna put the links for you down below, but you will have seen that sometimes my Bulletproof coffee looks a lot darker than this, and that is because I will sometimes add in half a teaspoon of cacao powder, just for some extra antioxidants, and it gives it more of a kind of macchiato taste. So just depending on how I'm feeling, I will sometimes also add in to all of that the cacao powder. However, I now also make Bulletproof with just cacao or I also make it with matcha as well. So I'm going to show you really quickly how I make those because it's so simple and it's just a nice variation if you don't want the coffee every single time. Let's start with the matcha. So this is a matcha powder that was recently launched by a supplement company that I really trust and love. It's called M and they have various supplements, capsule supplements, but recently they just launched single sachet servings of matcha powder infused with collagen and aloe vera as well. So I'm really loving these because they just give all sorts of health and skin care benefits as well as the antioxidant powers of matcha but one thing you must remember when you make matcha is not to use 100 degree boiling water i tend to boil my water up to 80 degrees i have one of these kettles that has a temperature control so i will boil the water only to 80 degrees to make my matcha and then the rest of the process is pretty much the same as making my regular bulletproof coffee so I've just boiled my kettle to 80 degrees. Let me just make the matcha, although I can never open these. Actually, I've got a pair of scissors because that's not very elegant. Okay. I've just washed this out. I just rinsed it out, obviously, because I don't want the taste of coffee in my matcha. And I've boiled my kettle to 80 degrees. Now, if you don't have one of these temperature control kettles, it's really not an issue. I would just put like maybe four fifths water from the kettle and then one fifth filtered water so that you just bring the temperature down slightly. Now I'm just gonna eyeball it again because I kind of know how much liquid I get when I do my bulletproof coffee. I'm gonna add in my matcha powder. 
It's quite a big dose from M. I'll write down in the description box how many grams it is, but it, I was shocked when I saw what one dose of matcha powder should be because I think I was not using enough matcha powder when I was making this with a different matcha. But I really like this one because I love the idea of the collagen and the aloe vera in it as well. So that is my matcha made. It's a beautiful green colour, such a lovely green. And then pretty much the rest of it is as before. So I've got my one teaspoon of ghee and I'll also just eyeball that quite often. So sometimes it's half a teaspoon, sometimes it's a full teaspoon, just depends on how I'm feeling. MCT oil again, cinnamon powder and half a teaspoon of my ashwagandha powder two scoops of the collagen powder and that is it that is as simple as it gets for my matcha bulletproof so i'm just going to whiz that up again the beautiful flavour of that ghee. Please don't confuse it with cooking ghee that you know you get in the Indian shops. The flavour of this ghee is literally like a treat and I oh, find this so hard to open sometimes. My hands are small and this is just slightly too big. Anyway, what was I saying? I can't remember. But that is as simple as, oh yes, the ghee is literally, it's like a treat. Every day, it's such a treat. And I just think that taking in a teaspoon of ghee every day has really helped my skin as well. It's like moisturizing it from the inside. But that's a whole other video. So here is my matcha bulletproof. Oh, I think I put too much water in. But there you go, in my heart-shaped mug. So, a quick rinse of my Nutribullet, and now I want to show you my Bulletproof Cacao, which actually has now gone down as my kids and my sister's favourite way to make hot chocolate, because it's got so many health benefits that actually it feels like you're cheating on chocolate a little bit, but it is so gorgeous that if you're wondering what I'm going to do with all these Bulletproofs that I'm making right now, the hot chocolate I'm going to call it hot chocolate. The bulletproof cacao is going to go to my kids and I love the fact that they love it because it's got so many antioxidants in it. I use cacao, not chocolate, and all the other ingredients that you've seen me put into it that it makes it really, really healthy. And my sister, who doesn't have caffeine, she doesn't drink coffee, she doesn't even drink tea, she now has one of these every day because she wants all the health benefits. And also it's a nice way to have a little chocolatey treat without feeling even 1% guilty. Again, it is so super simple, it almost doesn't need any explanation, but let's do it anyway. So, I'll take my cacao powder, I actually need to get some more, I'm running low. I'll take my cacao powder, this is natural cacao powder for baking. Is it organic? I can't tell. But if it isn't, the next time I buy it, I will make sure to be buying organic cacao powder. And I take a rounded teaspoon of this because I love that chocolatey hit. And then my kettle, which was boiled to 80 degrees. I'll just add in the water. And then, as before, we put in half a teaspoon of the ashwagandha. I want to say a light sprinkling of cinnamon, but actually I love the taste of cinnamon with cacao, chocolate. So I'll actually put a little bit extra cinnamon than I would in the other two bulletproofs. Of course, the ghee, and I think it's the combination of the cacao, cinnamon, and ghee, which just gives this a... F you just feel like you're having a, a chocolatey dessert. I mean, if mousse was made this way, I would love it. Chocolate mousse, that is. And then my two scoops of collagen powder. Now, one of my really lovely followers on Instagram has sent me the details for a halal kosher bovine collagen peptide. So I'm going to make sure to put the details for that down below as well, because I know that that can be an issue for some people. So, that's it. Oh, and my MCT oil, I forgot that. 
and just as before, whiz that up in my Nutribullet. In case you're wondering, I tend to whiz it up for about 12 to 15 seconds. I find that that's just enough to really blend everything together super well and also give it that little frothiness that I love. Actually, the froth comes from the collagen peptides, but let's see if I can open this one without the rubber gloves. Yes. Oh, that smells amazing. It literally feels like you're having a chocolatey treat. I'm pouring this in and it's like looking at a chocolatey velvet. Let me come a little bit closer and show you. You can see that foamy, head on there so I am going to save this for the children but there's a little bit extra left in my Nutribullet cup so I might just sneak a little dip. Oh that is so lovely. In fact when I make this specifically for the children I do put in a little bit of honey because they don't they have a different uh, palette to mine. I quite like things that are a little bit sour, I don't mind the bitterness, I'm used to coffee as well. The cacao obviously can be a little bit bitter. So I do put in a splodge of honey or some agave syrup or something like that, just something to sweeten it a little bit so it does taste like proper hot chocolate for the kids. And my sister does that too as well. She'll have a little bit of honey. So that is it. That is bulletproof three ways. Bulletproof coffee, bulletproof matcha and bulletproof cacao, which is sitting here waiting for the children. I will add a little bit of honey in that though. I hope that this answers all the questions that I get on a daily basis on my Instagram. I will continue to answer all those questions that I get on my Instagram. So please do go and follow me. It's at Beauty Passionista on Instagram because I love talking to you guys there. My DMs are always open. But I hope that that answers all the questions on why I have Bulletproof Coffee, how I make it, how I incorporate it into my lifestyle. But if you did have any other questions, do feel free to put them in the box down below in the comment section, or you can obviously DM me on Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you feel that you might want to see some more videos from me, then please do hit that subscribe button. And if you liked this video, then please hit that like, because YouTube seems to like that, and that way I also know whether you liked this or not and whether I should try and do more videos like this. I am so glad that I finally filmed this because this has been hanging over my head for the longest time, so I hope that I've met your expectations on this Bulletproof video, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.